Hi, I'm Pam from the Hooked on Sewing blog. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'd like to show you how to make these adorable fabric pumpkins. I actually have a pattern on the Hooked on Sewing site for this pumpkin pattern in three sizes. You'll find a small, which is a little bit smaller than this, a medium, which is the size of this pumpkin, and a large. Um, they're adorable pumpkins that are just really easy to make. You can use fabric scraps for this. You can see here I use two different prints of fabric. You can use all the same fabric. You can make it totally scrappy and just use up some of your scraps, whatever you like to make your fabric pumpkins. Um, on this pumpkin, I did some decorative stitching. Uh, I did some decorative stitching here on the pumpkins down right down the middle of the fabric pieces. Maybe you can see it here better. Anyway, it's totally up to you how you decorate these. Just let your creative mind take over and I'm sure you will come up with something that suits you, your personality, your decor, or whoever you'd like to gift to these pumpkins too. So let's take a look at what you will need to sew a fabric pumpkin. So here is a list of the supplies you will need. I will also leave a list in the description below and we're going to take a closer look at the supply needs. Of course you're going to need some fabric. I like to use cotton. I have also used drop cloth. I've used burlap before. Um, it's not my favorite because it likes to ravel a lot but you can use canvas. You can use scraps of whatever type of fabric that you have, but you'll need enough fabric to cut out six of these pieces to create your pumpkin. I also like to use fusible fleece on the backs of my pumpkin pieces. So you'll need enough fusible fleece to, for each one of those as well. I like to use the Pellon 987F uh, fusible fleece, which is fusible, which means you can iron it on. So whatever you're using, just be sure to follow your manufacturer's instructions for applying the fusible fleece. Okay, so we need fabric, we need fusible fleece. My pumpkin is filled with polyester fiber fill. So if you wanna use polyester fiber fill, you will need some of that as well. And you'll see my leaves, I made them out of craft felt. So you'll need some craft felt for your leaves. Um, you'll also maybe want a piece of a stick that you can use for the stem of your pumpkin. You can also use cork or you can take maybe a piece of brown, a piece of brown felt and you can just roll it up like you can just roll it up and use that and stick it in your pumpkin as your stem with some brown felt. Um, you may also want to have some embroidery thread and an embroidery needle if you want to do some hand stitching on your leaf. And um, I used burlap threads, I just literally pulled out the threads from a piece of burlap that I had and tied it on here. You can use twine, you can use ribbon, you can use lace, you can leave it off, whatever you'd like to do to adorn your pumpkins. So for mine, I used two different types of fabric or two different colors of fabric. I cut out these two leaves and I hand stitched with some embroidery, the stitching on the veins on my leaves. I used a piece of stick that I just broke off that I found out in my yard and I took some of the threads from some burlap to tie around it. Now to attach the stem, the leaves, and the burlap, I used hot glue. So you'll also need a hot glue gun and some glue sticks. And of course you'll need some scissors, a way to cut out your pattern, a way to cut out your fabric. I like to use my rotary cutter. This is the Ulfa 45 millimeter. It's my favorite. It's ergonomic. Um, it's really easy to use. I like that it has this uh, safety feature that you have to squeeze the handle to engage the blade. You can also lock the blade, so even if you squeeze it, it won't activate your blade. But trust me, this will keep you from cutting yourself many times because you have to squeeze it let go of it and it puts this blade back to a safe position. So I do like to use a rotary cutter. If you're going to use a rotary cutter, you will want to use a self-healing mat. 
And I do like to keep a pair of small scissors handy on my sewing machine. I just keep those there all the time. You may also want to have some pens or wonder clips to clip your pieces together. I don't find it necessary, but it might help you to line up your edges better uh, when as you're stitching this together. Um, I think that's it. You also need some matching thread or contrasting thread for your top stitching if that's what you want to do. And I think that's it. So let's take a look at how to sew these fabric pumpkins. The first thing that you will want to do is to cut out your fabric and then cut out your fusible fleece or interfacing, whatever you're using. Be sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions for applying the fusible fleece to your fabric. For mine, I'm just gonna press it with a hot iron. I'm using a pressing cloth over top of my fabric pieces just so that I don't get any sticky stuff, sticky residue on the bottom of my iron. So I'll repeat that for each of the six pieces of the pumpkin pattern. And then I will take this over to my sewing machine and we will sew these together uh, two pieces at a time. But before we do that, in spite of what you see in this video, I'm going to add some decorative stitches. Um, in the video, I started sewing the pieces together before I did my decorative stitches, but I definitely should have done the decorative stitches first. So I just picked out this cute leaf pattern on my sewing machine and I stitched it straight down the middle of the pumpkin pieces. Now these are the fabric pieces that already have the fusible fleece uh, fused to them and then I'm doing a decorative stitch right down the middle of the fabric pieces of the pumpkin. And I will repeat that for all six pieces that I have cut out and fused. I'm going to do the decorative stitching right down the middle. If your machine doesn't have a decorative stitch feature, you can just do a long basting stitch straight down the middle. You could hand stitch it. You could do some embroidery down the middle, uh, or you could just leave it plain. You don't have to do any decorative stitches down it. This is just another option for what you can do to kind of decorate your pumpkins. And again, I'm doing this decorative stitch from the top point of the pumpkin pattern piece down to the bottom, and I'm repeating that for all six pieces of my pumpkin. Okay, now that I have my decorative stitching done, I am ready to stitch these pumpkin pieces together. I'm going to take two pieces, starting from the top, using a quarter inch seam allowance, and stitch all the way down one side and to the bottom. I'm going to reinforce my stitches when I get to the bottom. And there you see I have the two pieces together. And then I'm going to take another two pieces and stitch those together. And then I will take the final two pieces and stitch those two together, again using a quarter inch seam allowance. And once I have all six pieces stitched together in sex sections of two, I will take each of those and stitch them together. Okay, again, I have my fabric pieces sewn together two sections at a time. And now I'm going to take two of the two sections, so four pieces of the pumpkin pieces, and stitch those together again using a one quarter inch seam allowance. I will start at the top, reinforce my stitches, and then stitch all the way down the side using a quarter inch seam allowance until I get to the bottom. I will back stitch to reinforce those stitches and then repeat that for the next section. I'm trying to slow down this video because I've had a request that I slow it down so you can watch and see more slowly and in more detail exactly what I'm doing when I am sewing and creating these video tutorials for you. So I hope that you have found it helpful to see it in real time speed. 
of how these are sewn together. So here I have four of them. I'm going to attach the last two pieces to that. Trim off some of these threads first. Again, I will line it up and right sides together and stitch from the top down to the bottom um, using a quarter inch seam allowance. I was just checking here to make sure I had the decorative stitching all going in the same direction because for the stitch that I chose, this cute leaf pattern, the leaves are all face going towards the top of my pumpkin. Okay, so I am stitching the last two pieces together. I'm going to stitch part way down and then I will back stitch to secure those stitches probably two thirds of the way down my pumpkin pattern piece. And then I'll stop and leave about an inch and a half, uh, two inch opening and stitch to the bottom of the pumpkin pieces. Okay, once I have my pumpkin all stitched together, I'm going to take the fabric and turn it right side out through that inch and a half opening that I left in the side of the pumpkin. It'll be a little snug, but you really shouldn't have any problems getting that to turn right side out. Just try not to rip your stitching, which is why we reinforced our stitches at the, the end of the opening in the beginning. And there we go. Once I have this turned right side out, I'm going to push out the seams real nicely. Just stick my fingers in there and kind of try to smooth all that out. And then I will take my polyester fiber fill and stuff my pumpkin with the polyester fiber fill. You can use scraps of interfacing fleece, um, fabric scraps, whatever you like to stuff your pumpkin with. I typically just use the polyester fiber fill and that gives me the look that I like for my pumpkins. So just take your pieces of the fiber fill and you'll have to kind of use smaller pieces to get it to fit through that opening and then just take your fingers and kind of walk them into that pumpkin. Push them all the way to the back and then just keep stuffing it like that until you have your pumpkin the firmness that you want. Okay, I'm going to speed things up here a little bit, but as you can see, I'm just going to continue stuffing that pumpkin with the, my polyester fiber fill. Just use your fingers to push it down in there, and once you have your pumpkin filled to the firmness that you like, then we will be ready to hand stitch that opening closed. So again, just continue stuffing the pumpkin. Okay, now I'm just going to take a needle and thread and I have knotted the end of my thread and I inserted it from the inside of the pumpkin first and pulled the thread out so that the knot is on the inside of my pumpkin. And then I'm just going to do a ladder stitch to close this up. Now with the ladder stitch, you insert your needle into the fabric and pull it out a very small distance away on the same side of the fabric. And then you cross over to the other side, just adjacent to where your thread came up on the left side, and you insert your needle and you take a small stitch. And you just keep going back and forth like that until you have your pumpkin, that opening completely uh, stitched shut. Let's see if you can get a better angle of it, maybe from this direction. No, my hand's in the way. I'm really sorry about that. But you take a small stitch like that, pull your needle through, kind of pull the thread nice and taut so it closes up the fabric, and then just continue stitching that until it's closed. So now we're ready to put our pumpkin together. You take your stick and you just poke it in the top of the fabric, of the top of the pumpkin where the all the six pieces come together. I like to take a little bit of hot glue, put it on the very bottom of that stick, and then poke it down into my pumpkin. Right now I'm just kind of dry fitting to see how I want my pumpkin to look, and once I'm happy with that, then I can take and apply the hot glue. So take my glue gun 
and some hot glue. It's nice and hot now and apply it around the tip and the bottom of my little piece of stick and insert it into the top of the pumpkin. And then I will take one of my leaves. Um, I actually let's do some of the twine. I took some burlap fabric that I had and I just pulled out the threads from that fabric and then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around my stick so that the burlap strands will adhere to the stick and I'm just going to wrap it around and then tie it off and that will be my decorative uh, tendrils for my pumpkin. You can also take uh, a piece of twine or the burlap strands and wrap them around a pencil and then spread some craft glue on that and just let it allow it to dry and then you'll have these curly little tendrils uh, for your pumpkins. Um, I'll leave a link below to where you can see that technique. But now I'm just going to finish tying this off and then I will glue my leaves onto the top of my pumpkin. Now again, this is totally optional. You can decorate the tops of your pumpkins any way you see fit. Some people like to use uh, corks from wine bottles. Some people use uh, felt where they roll up felt and use that as a stem. Um, just whatever comes to your mind that you'd like to use for a stem for your pumpkin. And then once you have that glued on then I'm going to glue my leaves the way that I like them. You can glue on one leaf, you can glue on two leaves. Now here I decided to make a little dart in the back of my pumpkin so the leaf will lay better and I put some glue on that and then I'll just press it down onto my fabric. Now be careful because this is hot so be careful that you don't leave your hand on there or touch the hot glue. Just apply a little bit of pressure and it will start to adhere to that fabric right away. And now I'm ready to apply some hot glue to my second leaf. Again, I went ahead and stitched a small dart in the top of the leaf so that it kind of folds up and gives it a little bit more body, I guess. Um, just put some hot glue there on the tip of that piece of felt and lay it on top of my fabric on top of the other piece of felt leaf and again just kind of press that down that was kind of hot to use my scissors to kind of press that down and then get all my little twine pieces just the way I like them and there you have a fabric pumpkin I hope you have a lot of fun with your fabric pumpkins and again they come in three sizes a small a medium this is the medium here and a large which is a lot larger actually and here are the completed pumpkins aren't they adorable and you can see my hand embroidery stitching so fun if you like this video please be sure to like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you'll be notified when new tutorials are made available. And please come visit me over on the Hooked on Sewing blog and subscribe to my newsletter so you can have patterns like this pumpkin pattern delivered straight to your email inbox. Thank you so much.